So this problem says to solve negative 3 plus 4 square root of x plus 6 is equal to 9 for x. So it might be tempting to look at this negative 3 and the plus 4 and to go ahead and combine those two. However, the 4 is right next to the square root, which means that that's multiplied. And you have to do multiplication before you can do addition. So we can't do that first. But since we have this negative 3 term that's over here by itself, we can combine it with its like term, which is the 9, by adding, it, adding 3 on both sides. From here, we would have the negative 3 and the positive 3 cancel out to go to 0. And we would have 4 times the square root of x plus 6 is equal to 9 plus 3 is 12. The next thing we want to do, since we're wanting to solve for x, we need to get x by itself. So let's move the 4 to the other side. Since, like I said before, the 4 is multiplied by the square root we can do the inverse operation, which is division, and divide both sides by 4, because this 4 and that 4 would cancel out, leaving us with the square root of x plus 6 is equal to 12 divided by 4 is 3. From here, we need to get rid of this square root so that we can make the x by itself. To get rid of a square root, we can square both sides. And keep in mind, you can only square both sides if you have an equal sign in between. Um, like if you have a fraction, you can't square the top and the bottom of the fraction. Okay, so the square root would cancel with the square, and that leaves us with x plus 6 is equal to 3 squared is 9. And the last thing to get the x by itself is to move this plus 6 to the other side. We can do that by subtracting 6, since plus 6 and minus 6 our inverse operations to leave us with x is equal to 9 minus 6 is 3. So that is our one solution that we get from this problem. But when you're de dealing with square roots, you generally want to plug your answer back into the final, um, excuse me, you plug your answer back into the original equation just to verify that it does work and it doesn't make like a negative under your radical. So if we substitute negative 3 plus 4 times the square root of, instead of writing x, I'll write our 3 solution that we got. Plus 6 is equal to 9. Let's simplify under the radical first. So 3 plus 6 is 9. That gives us negative 3 plus 4 times the square root of 9 is equal to 9. The square root of 9 is 3. So negative 3 plus 4 times 3 is equal to 9. And 4 times 3 is 12. Negative 3 plus 12 is equal to 9. And remember, we do that multiplication before we do the addition. But now that we've, we're done with that multiplication, we can go ahead and combine the negative 3 and the 12, which makes 9 is equal to 9. So the solution does, in fact, check out. So I hope this step-by-step -step solution was helpful for you. If it was, please like the video and also subscribe to my channel to see more step-by-step um, -step solutions for homework problems. Feel free to leave a comment if you have any questions about this problem or if you'd like to see a video on your homework help or, or your homework problem. Thanks for watching.